Hi, hope you are doing good and staying at home. As you all know, till now over 2 million people worldwide have been infected by coronavirus, which is horrifying. Now in this video, I will be showing you how you can create an internet connected display which can show coronavirus statistics in real time. I have used an ESP32 based node MCU board and a 1.8 inch LCD display for this project. I also made a custom jig using a piece of perf board and made the circuit to connect them with one another. So our hardware is ready. Now let's jump into the coding. So this is the code for the project. Here, first we need to include some necessary libraries. We need TFT ESPI library for the TFT display and TJPG decoder library to display custom images on it. This is the C array of the JPEG file we are using. You can go to this URL to create C arrays from JPEG images using this online tool. And finally we need the Arduino JSON library to fetch the data. If you do not have any of these libraries installed in your Arduino IDA, then use Library Manager or go to the link given here to install them. Then you need to include your Wi-Fi credentials here. And then here we have defined the starting dates. We need this to count how many days have been passed since all this started. In the setup section, first we have initiated Wi-Fi and TFT display. Then using this function, we draw the background. Next we print some text on the display and finally move to the loop section. Here as you can see, we call some functions one by one. Let's have a look at what they are. First one is the date function which shows the time and date. Then we have world stat which shows the statistics around the globe. We fetch the data from this API. Let me show you how to do that. First go to their official website and go to this documentation page where you will learn more about this API. According to their documentation, if you go to this URL, you will get the necessary information. You can use the names of other places to be able to get the data for that place. Once you have got the data, copy it and paste it in this website. As always all links will be given in the video description. After that, copy the Pershing program and paste it in the code. As we are Pershing the data from a website, so we will get the response in string. So you need to replace this line with this line in the code. And like this you will fetch the data successfully. Then here we have counted the days which we are talking about earlier. I have done the same for my country and state as well. Here I like to thanks to this GitHub user Adhikansh Mittal for creating a simple and easy to use REST API for India and individual states of India. Which I have used in my project. rest are pretty much the same. Now let's see it in action. If you like this project please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what do you think about it in the comments, share this video and subscribe.